Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the stream. We're gonna chill out on some hardcore for a while, do some grinding. And we're back. Oh shit, was I on the splash text? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> That's the first time it's ever came up, I think. I've never noticed. Clip it. I wonder what you guys were talking about. I just saw Phil's as you over and over again. I was like, oh, somebody's probably just said, guys, spam Phil's as you. And I saw splash text as I clicked on my world. Clip it. Oh yeah, I'm the dumb one, guys, for thinking that you guys like to spam things. I'm the dumb one. Oh yeah. You guys spam so much stuff. Fills is you just seemed like another spam. I was like, oh, it's just somebody said type Philzer is you. That's what it looked like on my end. It didn't look like you guys were saying, look, it's you. It just said Philzer is you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's that's me, alright. Oh! Oh, it's that splash text! That's dude, you guys got me thinking it was the other splash text. Guys, this one's for everybody. What do you mean? <laughs> That's a, that's for everybody. What do you mean? There's two, there's the splash text that's got my name in it that says Phil's out had a good run. I thought it was that one. Phil's is you. That one there. That's just whoever username you logged in as. <laughs> oh my god, Pipega chat. Holy shit. That's fine. That's that's an innocent Pipega, guys. Here at Mojang, we like to troll Filza. We like to remind him of what killed him in Season 2, so we're going to make every mob in the game have golden armor. The chances of golden armor mobs have increased tenfold, just to specifically fuck with you. Alright. There's a conspiracy. Confirmed. I want more gunpowder. I want more gunpowder! Yeah, I need a creeper farm, dude. A creeper farm or a witch farm, that needs to happen. Um, right now, the main priority is black stained glass. So, squid farm is pretty essential on the list right now. Or at least farming squids to some extent. It's like swimming around, killing them. Why do we need black stained glass for end lantis? Oh, there they are. Yeah! Give me the ink. Give me the ink. Yas. Can we hunt the creepers? Or should I continue looking for squids? Oh, do I need sacks? Black glass, my dude. Oh, I'm not mad. Sweet. Intentional Love game it. design. I'm not mad. Died on my hardcore stream. Love your stream, BTW. Ooh, woo. Yeah. Four drowned with tridents looting three. Hello. No trident! Mojang, can we talk? Can we talk about these percentages for Java real quick? Thanks. <laughs> Dude, we have one trident and that's it. Just give me the second one, please. I only need two. I don't care. Just two, please. <laughs> All right, back to squid. <laughs> Can't believe that, dude. We are so unlucky. Why do I need a second trident? Well, there's two main enchantments you can put on tridents. And you can't put those enchantments on one. They have to be separate. The first one is channeling. And the second one is riptide. I have my channeling trident already. That is for getting charged creepers when there's a thunderstorm. I want a riptide trident. Well, it's daytime now, so I guess I could go make some black glass and then just kind of uh, mosey on down to Atlantis. See where we're up to. All right, here you go, guys. Here's Atlantis currently so far. All right, we'll just get rid of this uh, measurement stick that I did. It's basically a ruler so I can make the circle around the edges that were a bit scuffed. Worth it. Slot Sega, thank you for that Will five. Make another hub? If yes. When? I don't know when yet, currently. Um, I'm playing around with the idea of making, like, basically a giant open nether hub that is completely clear, and I can just fly to individual portals. So rather than having tunnels, I would literally just have a huge open space where I can just see the portals. And I'll have, like, blocks spaced out in between. So, say if I wanted to go to an ocean monument that I'd cleared, right? We'll just have prismarine blocks kind of, like, dotted around and, like, spreading through the oh. nether. All right, so I'll be able to see it. I'll fly okay. around and see them and be like, ah, oh my god. I win, ha, ha, ha. I Jesus Christ, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> oh my god. All right, Joey is clearly cementing his place at the top right now. Holy shit, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Absolutely no stopping this man. Thank you so much. Holy shit. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, this place used to be uh, a lot different. As you can see, these bedrock blocks used to be the very tippy tops of the obsidian towers. We then mined them down to be lower. This area used to be a lot bigger, as you can tell. I am sitting on a bedrock block that would have been at the top of an obsidian tower. We dug it down to the flat point of where the island stopped and then we took this redstone machine and just started annihilating everything so that machine over there broke 
all of the end stone below this point. That's why it's looking a bit skinny. The plan now is to make this into a giant bowl or at least give it glass walls more specifically like here. Let's see if I can land on it without... There we go. Yeah, that's a better way. Greedy Gonna give this thing glass walls yeah, and then fill it with water. All right, who wants a fresh dose of cancer to the fucking ears? <laughs> Here it comes. I'm turning it up. I'm turning it up. <laughs> oh. There it is. We're full. Love your videos and streams. Keep it up, big man. Hey man, I'll keep doing the thing. Maybe the two months. Okay. I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of starting to be happy with the way this looks now. Just cleaning up little spots. Just as a heads up anybody that doesn't know what I'm doing exactly. Uh, I will be placing sand all over this. Just trying to even it out a little bit. And do a little bit of terraforming before we put the water in. To save myself some time. And also sand. Save myself some sweat sand. Heart. Dude, it's fucking hot in this room. I can't imagine how sweaty it's going to get when we actually start playing Minecraft Monday. In like 20 minutes. going to get big sweat. Did Kristen tell you how hot it was in Vegas? Yeah, she did. Holy shit. Vegas is like, I don't know how people fucking live there, dude. Honestly, I know you guys have air conditioning, but there are people who go outside still. You can't just spend your entire day. Well, you, I guess you can spend your entire day in Vegas indoors because everything's connected. But at some point you will have to go outside and fuck me. I don't. How do you how do you live? It's literally hot enough to burn steak on the ground. If you spend too much time outside, maybe like half an hour to an hour without sunscreen, without like water, you probably probably fucking dehydrate and die super fast. It's fucked. I can't believe how hot it gets in Vegas. Like it's an actual desert and people live there. <laughs> it's like fucking what? <laughs> Wait, what's that, Joe? Hello, big Minecrafter. I saw that I was in your videos today twice. BTW Technoblade is my second fave Minecrafter and good job on winning. <laughs> Oh no, he made it. Oh my god, he made it. <laughs> Alright, that's getting uploaded. Make a version that's uh, 112 by 112 and it's going straight on better Twitch TV. Actually, you know what? No, let's make that an official emote for Twitch. I'll message you, Joe. Let's make that an official emote for Twitch. That's uh, That deserves its own slot. We have plenty. We have plenty of ones that I'm not using right now. God damn it. I can't believe he made it. <laughs> I held on to this message just to tell you I do not regret giving you my prime sub and I be live you deserve all of this growth as a streamer. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the two months. Hopefully I can keep you guys entertained enough to keep coming back. I'm going to get that creeper. I want him. I want his guts. Yeah. I'm going to start running at mobs and spam clicking because of that like epic hardcore session of like Hunger Games. <laughs> Whoops, whoops a daisy. I thought I was going to go through him. But I went into it. I stopped. <laughs> it just stopped. Okay. Julie noted. Pink farm we're probably going to make on uh, Wednesday because I don't know exactly know how to do it yet. It might take a while as well. So I'm going to look at like my like at different designs online. See which one I like. Choose one and then uh, go from there. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Golden. Full golden zombies are haunting me. We saw one back there. I didn't mention them. That's the second one. Before we did Minecraft Mondays, there was like five. Just in one night. Catch me up in 10 seconds in the YouTube videos. Also pop. Also, still review at 69 subs. Also, you. What? Oh, greedy, greedy Phil. What is going on? Every time we Why? Try, I get this feeling. Every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Can't you feel my heartbeat fast? I he broke one of his leads. Need you by my side. Merchant man got to go fast. <laughs> Wait. What is going on, dude? He's not stopping. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's not stopping. I thought he would have stopped by now. What's happening, dude? Let's, let's actually try and stop him. Hold on. If I do... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Nothing stops him. Will trading with you chill your... Chill your hype. Nope. Do I kill him? What do I do? I could try. I could trap him. Maybe. Don't kill. Just let him run. My boat would work. A boat would definitely work. Should I buy all the dye from him? We need dye. Gotta catch him. Gotta catch him. Dude. Oh my god. I'm clicking on him. There's no way I'm not clicking on you. Okay. 36. Dude, this is ridiculous. Oh, he stopped. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> That's too slow. I was going to trap him. If he stops again, I can trap him. Oh, we could just use a boat. Jesus Christ. This has only happened once before, and he stopped instantly. He ran around my house and stopped over there. And that was it. That was all we got. Let's get a fence post. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was not expecting him to just not stop. He's probably still going right now. There he goes. He could he could actually be here forever because it's spawn chunks. Let's uh, take you two. <laughs> there we go. You're mine now. I'm wondering if we put him in a boat, will that stop him? Will that stop him from uh, sketching out? We gotta like... That was way easier than I thought. He ran past twice and then instantly got stuck. Now I gotta hit this boat without hitting him. Let's see if it stops him. Amazon delivery people these days. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck did we do? <laughs> if we put him in a cage, is he just gonna go back and forth like really quickly? <laughs> Shit. He gets stuck on that quite often, so I'm gonna leave this here. Okay, come back around. Oh my god, is he gonna run away? Oh, he's fine, he's fine. He tends to hover around the llamas by the looks of it. Dude! There we go. There we go. Alright, uh... What can we do? Should we put him in, like, a little race course track? Wait, would giving him, giving him a speed potion make him go even faster? Make a race track? Okay. Do we make the race course track out of glass? We could use glass panes and make like a one a one block wide track that goes like we could literally turn him into a hamster and just make him like run backwards and forwards away from and towards his llamas up here. <laughs> it just despawns even when named. He will still despawn. All right. Well, we're gonna have our. Fo oh, he's he's straight. He's going invisible because it's nighttime. I thought he despawned then. I was like, all right, that's broke. That's broken. He drinks a potion of invisibility when it turns nighttime so he doesn't get killed by mobs. Dude, that breaks all the rules of the game though. How how does he despawn even when name tagged? That's broken. Name tagged mobs are meant to stay alive forever unless killed. How do we make a speed potion again? I've not made one in forever. I don't think we've killed any rabbits. I have rabbit hide. I don't have any. Is it rabbit's foot? No, that's jump. That's jump. It's sugar. It's literally just sugar. Uh, water. We have to see what this boy looks like with faster agility. I need to know. I need to know what happens. And Speedy Boy is given speed potion, dude. <laughs> okay, so it is literally just... No, nether wart. Where is it? I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. And then sugar. Whew. Speed 2, we'll make it speed 2. I need a glowstone. Let's turn down the music a bit so I can think. So it's sugar and I need glowstone, but I don't think I have any glowstone dust handy. I have to break a block for it. Which I have. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I know I'm making it, I'm making it um, speed 2 first and then I'll make it into a throwing one, guys. Oh my god, if this breaks my game, I'm actually kind of worried. I think I might make... Um, a <laughs> backup in case it breaks it. I'm kind of worried that he's going to go too fast and break the game. So let me do a backup in case it just crashes the world. Because this is this is stuff that could possibly break the very fabric of Minecraft. Dude was already going light speed. <laughs> the dude was already light speed. And now we're going to make him go even faster. <laughs> this is a mistake. <laughs> this is a mistake, dude. All right, I'm copying. Phil, I think logging out stops the speed. Well, we'll find out. I'll trade it with him again and see if it does it. Oh, we copied the the file over. All right, we're good. We can always uh, right click on them and trade with our like infinite emeralds. Hi, mate. Do you want to get out your boat? Ah. Ah, yes. Intellectual speedy boy. You have stopped. You have, you have ceased moving. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just get some of this shit. Oh, he's fine. That fixed him. Okay. F, dude. Well, we're ready to go another time if we find another one of these guys roaming around. I am actually so confident we're going to find another one when we're adventuring that I'm going to put this in here. It was too risky, guys. It was too risky. I've seen speed hacks break servers. Like, I've seen people going too fast break servers. And that dude was already going light speed. Our sub server got, like, a massive crash because uh, one of my mods wanted to test the uh, the limits. And he gave everyone an item that made people go at, like, speed 5 or something. So they were all holding it and just going, like, running around the circle. And then the server was went, dead. So that was a necessary thing to do. We needed to check. <laughs> that was hilarious, though. Jesus Christ. Well, we got six llamas now. <laughs> Okay, we can make a bunch of black dye now. This is good. Does that guy's stuff ever restock? Or is he... Oh, hi, mate. Oh, 
Greedy, oh. greedy Phil. Worth it. Speedy boy? You sir, I bought salute. Amen. He's a new one. Do we trade with him? Oh! Oh, he's not doing the thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, almost. You're such a good streamer, so happy I found your channel, and you inspire me every day. Ah, brand new. And he doesn't do the glitch, dude. Come on. Rip, speedy boy. Missed the clapping with techno because of work, sad punk. Congrats on the W, my man. Speedy boy lives, dude. Speedy boy, he lives on. Llama farm, dude. What do I do now? What do I do to get more llamas? What's going on? Do we just keep making feds posts? <laughs> dude, we got so many llamas. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? Dude, that was a good trait though, actually. Let's let's be real. Not to the shells. That was Pog. Good thing we're rich now. Well, I have the speed potion ready for whenever he decides to go deja vu on us. I am so confused about the mechanics of these guys. It doesn't make any sense. They break all laws of Minecraft. They go light speed randomly when you trade with them. This dude's just ye he's gone, dude. He's like, ah, fuck this, I'm out. I've, I've lost my llamas. I'm just gonna go wandering. Oh wait. One of you isn't attached? Hold up. Hold up. Aha! You! Can I... Oh my god, I can have three. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's fine by me. I'm good. Let's put the speed potion back in. It's in the chest where it belongs. Till we see that event happen again. Jesus Christ. I wonder what the uh, reason behind that is. Like, is there any specific conditions that have to be met in the game for that to occur? Or is it just completely random? <laughs> I have no idea, dude. <laughs> no idea. Let's make some black glass. That's very flat room, mate. Thank you. Don't care about pumpkins. We don't care about the boat or sticks or the flowers. Keeping the money, though. All right. Let's do this. Grab all that. Do I have a crafting table down here? I do not. It's fine. Let's make some more. <laughs> <laughs> Some more. All right. All right. Add that to the stash. Ready to collect more sand. These are all. These are all full sand chalkers, by the way. That's how much we've been collecting. Pog in a bog. Word on the street is you got a fat pog. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what? The regular glass I'm gonna put down here. We left these down here for a reason. There we go. Start filling those up because this chest will eventually get full with the amount of sand that we have. Uh, right, should we go place some black glass in Atlantis? We have, we have a good amount of it. Uh, what was I going to get? More fireworks? That was it. Yeah, more fireworks. Do, 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 do. We definitely need a better source of gunpowder, honestly. Let's say goodbye to Bullcoon and Bullchan. All right, so for those of you that haven't seen this, uh, we kind of blew up the end realm a little bit. This is the middle of the island. This is where the floor used to be. And yeah, TNT. A lot of it. From a machine that's just out of view distance range. There it is. This machine right here. We did a time lapse. It's going to be in a YouTube video. And I also played it on stream a few times. This is the most complicated piece of redstone equipment I have ever made, ever. And it was Whoa. ridiculous, dude. Three absolutely Worth insane it. if you can see something Still over there top. that was the return collection point which basically pushed it along and sent it back uh when this thing moves it leaves behind another collection point so the whole thing goes back and forth like a printer and works its way all the way down so yeah it's uh it's shaved off quite a substantial amount of our end island and recent in recent streams i've been prepping the edges to make sure that nothing can spawn underneath so nothing is gonna mess with our spawn rates and also the border of the whole thing keeps these portals within range so we can swim to them what am i doing travis uh so right now i'm placing a bunch of glass on the edge of the island we not too long ago like a week or two ago finished blowing up the island i don't know how much um single player minecraft you've played but if you think about specifically the end island i don't know how much time you spent in the end island that middle spot there that's where the floor used to be and we've just wiped it these towers used to be flat <laughs> and now they're sticking out the ground again <laughs> Yeah, look here. There's, here's the bedrock tops of the towers, dude. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. How much did it take to clear that? Uh, 10 hours of that machine up there that you see just above my head. So yeah, 10 hours worth of that. It took me like an entire stream to make that machine because I am crap with redstone, dude. I'm so bad. I can show you how it works if you want. It might end up blowing up this uh, pass. <laughs> we can like set it away. I will need a block of redstone now. I need to break this block of redstone. Let me just, let me just, eh. 
So to set this thing off, you need to break that redstone block and it shifts backwards. It shifts like this way and then goes straight over there. Don't show us how. Yeah, I don't think I will actually. It's going to ruin that little path where I made. It blows up everything, dude. It's so insane. It took a lot of work to do. But most redstone YouTubers or redstone Twitch streamers, dude, it's, it's a piece of piss. But for my tiny brain... <laughs> For my two head size redstone brain, this took so long to do. I suck at redstone, man. But this is uh, Ray's Works design. So if you want to Google it or YouTube it, check them out. And as far as I am aware and he was aware, we are the first people to do this in hardcore or the first people to build one of those in hardcore because it's so dangerous. <laughs> he got really spooked when I like flew around it. Like... <laughs> I flew like alongside it. He's like, oh my God, Phil, stay away. Don't, d as long as you don't fly underneath it, you're fine. Don't, don't fly underneath it. <laughs> it was just a rain, dude. It was just TNT everywhere. So, yeah, that's what we're doing in the end realm, guys. We're blowing stuff up and creating a new biome. So I have to make this uh, ridiculously large wall all the way around. We're then going to place a bunch of sand. Well, sorry, we're going to do the water first. Let's be real. We'll do the water first, fill this whole thing in, get the conduits going, and then start placing sand. And there's going to be mountains sprinkled around. I might do spiked mountains. That might be pretty cool. We'll see how it works. I want different areas dedicated to different like uh, builds. So like one area I want to have be a village. I'm going to get villagers here. Another area I want to have uh, a haunted village that's going to have drowned. Uh, I want to have fish and dolphins kicking around, so that'll work. Uh, we could make an iceberg or two, although it wouldn't really make sense. Well, I guess it is technically... I Think of this place as like space, right? I guess it would be really cool also. Uh, lower down the bottom, we're going to have coral reef, of course, with sea pickles sprinkled around everywhere, so it's going to look really pretty. We're going to have custom-made ravines, so like this one over here, for example. We made a TNT duper machine and blew up a little section. We were initially placing obsidian down so that we, the whole island didn't get yeeted when we used that big machine, wherever it is now, there it is. But it turned out pretty well. We still had a plateau pit to build from. How am I going to get dolphins in? I'm just going to make a path in the overworlds. I already have like a stronghold that is underwater. Thinking about using that one, it's probably going to be the easiest way. Get some leads, grab them, pull them to the location, drop them in. And when this place is filled with water, it's not going to take much for them to go through into the water section. There's going to be like a little pocket of air and then I'll just push them through. <laughs> Easy peasy. If you kill a dolphin, I'll swear. I mean, they might kill themselves. Let's be real. They might just yeet themselves off the edge. I'm fully expecting to see a dolphin just swim to the very, very top and just go... Whoosh! And then we just look through the glass and just see him fall. <laughs> Draw in MS Paint so we can visualize. <sighs> okay. Wifey said, wifey said it. How do we do this? Think of the end island in the middle, right? I'm probably going to get rid of those obsidian towers because they're ugly and they're in the way. Um, the sand will indicate with will indicate with orange. We're doing the view from when we come through the portal. What we're going to see in front of us is the portal that takes us home. That's the portal that takes us home. Don't get any funny ideas, guys. I might put an egg, put the egg back on top, actually. And then we're going to have coral. Well, we're going to have a little spot down here. That's where we're going to kill the wither. And then we're going to have coral kind of sprinkled around. So around about like... Do that. Blue. It's going to be blue. There's going to be bubbles coming from the bottom as well, from soul sand. So that's going to be the view that we have from the middle. This is all going to be covered in water, remember? Behind this, there's probably going to be a few uh, islands. Not islands, sorry. Um, mountains. Like that. And they're going to surround the bowl. So where behind us, there's going to be mountains also, right? There's going to be sand and it's going to be pretty much layered to come down to the bottom and it gets lower around about here. So this will be the building spots. So what we'll have is a view of basically absolute void past the glass from behind the mountains. The mountains, like I said, they're going to raise up splash text. We've come full circle, guys. We've come full circle. We won Minecraft Monday, and then we got this showing up. Whilst I'm showing you what Atlantis is going to look like. Pog, dude. That's the first time I've seen it. That was on my screen. Sick. That's awesome. All right, so can you guys see this? It's not too fucked up, is it? Anyway, bunch of corals surrounding the uh, the portal. Okay. I might even make it go up around it. So, like, up here. Uh, like, pink and purple around near the top like so it looks like the portal's messing with it right now you're looking at what view we will have when we go through the portal to the end island um behind us here i'm trying to show you if i do this i'm not sure if it's gonna work i need to connect all these dots let's connect all these up so we can make i should be able to fill this in and it's not gonna ruin it okay so that'll be what looks what we see behind us right 
or behind the um, the islands. That's why we're building the glass. It's so we have free reign over how big the mountains are going to be and um, how many and where they are. Like if we if we wanted to really optimize the glass, we could just specifically mark out our mountains now. But I don't actually know how it's going to look with all the water in. I might make the mountains even bigger and pull them a bit more forward to make it look like more impactful if that makes sense so that's all going to be sand behind that sand on the floor as well there's going to be multiple layers to that as well so it's going to go deeper around here as if like the island is kind of like sucking the sand down uh around about here we'll probably have the ender dragon <laughs> looks like a plane ender dragon uh ancient ender dragon specifically i should say you'll be chilling Master over there artist phil <laughs> We'll have a couple of villages over here, which hopefully I'll be able to get the uh, villagers there safely. There'll be a village there, underwater village. We'll have them locked inside their homes. Behind this island, I'm thinking about putting the um, Enderman grinder. So behind this, we'll have like a plateau above. Let's just indicate that with grey. So we'll have a plateau above us, and that'll be where the Enderman grinder is. Where I'm about to say, that's the platform that will come down. And they'll fall through um, a tunnel, which is going to be behind it, as you can see there. And it'll be pretty much right at the bottom, or in line with the port home so we can just go straight to it because there's going to be water everywhere it's going to be a busted enderman farm and the only thing we'll be able to see when we're underwater is just the pipeline of them falling so we go straight to the source of where we're going to kill them we swim there pop into our little little air pocket and just get tons of xp uh, other than that there'll be a bunch of corals sprinkled around like around about here sea pickles everywhere lighting it all up again it's all going to come down to how it looks underwater with the conduit running so there might be some areas that are a little bit a little bit different that is pretty much it guys hey guys how's it going a couple of things i want to get done today i went through my screenshots to double check some areas some uh, locations that we found in the world uh one of the big ones is a witch hut we have a water stronghold that we need to link up also that i don't think i've done yet i'll have to check actually i can't remember and then there's a, a temple a guardian temple that is underwater right next to a coral reef which i would like a portal to as well so those are the main things on the list today uh another thing we need to do we need to find a river biome that is 128 blocks away from an ocean typically and that is going to make things a lot easier for us to get squid all right should we get into it so i hopped into this world uh last night off stream to double check the river biome right here where our bridge is so i was looking into making a squid farm i wanted to see how much was actually river biome and how much was ocean it's a very small amount so the idea of putting i'll get to that in a second the idea of putting a uh, squid farm here probably not going to happen that's what i wanted to do we have to have 128 blocks away from an ocean typically um or anything else really that can spawn have you ever heard passive of mobs citizen? out so this guy chilling down here decided to show up whilst i was doing that <laughs> So I instantly bailed back into my house, which is why these things are still here. And we're going to see if we get a trident. I even named him to make sure he didn't despawn. Look, out. Gib trident. Second hardcore world spawned on a tiny island next to an ocean. Second day, it's a thunderstorm and I was fishing. Like never mind, guys. Never mind. I tried. <laughs> Rip. RIP, dude. I'll kill these guys because I saw them spawn. So yeah, the reason why you don't want to have a squid farm near an ocean or in an ocean, more specifically, is because of uh, these guys and more specifically dolphins. So if you make the farm correctly, these guys can't spawn, but dolphins can. Dolphins kind of ruin the spawn rates a little bit. So we need to build a little bit further away from here. We just... There we go. See, look, look at the spawn rates. Yeah, as I was saying, river biomes are pretty OP for squid. As you just saw, there was just three just chilling there. And there's another one. But you have to make it in a certain pattern. You have to do the squid farm in a certain pattern to prevent these little shitheads from spawning. Because they, they ruin it. They ruin the rates. I reckon this might actually be a good spot right here. I didn't, I didn't think I had that much space to work with. We're a good distance away from the ocean over there. And we just have swamp over here. That'll be a beach. That's not classed as a river. There might be a river over here. But then ocean just kicks off for on about... Yeah, ocean's right here. Okay, okay. Now, Sorry I'm gonna smell a bunch room, of glass. But I died in my creative world, big <laughs> I feel like it's pretty normal if you're doing tests and stuff. I'm gonna put all this in here for now. I need the sugar cane now to do the squid farm more effectively. I believe there's a way to use kelp, uh, but the method I'm gonna use is gonna be with sugar cane. So for now, let's stash all the sugar cane we can. What's a squid farm for? Uh, black glass. Tons of it. Like, an ungodly amount. Uh, all right, so I want to set up a portal to the witch hut. I'm pretty certain we might have already done... 
Let's just check. This is the problem with my nether portal setup at the moment. Uh, we have just random tunnels and they go really, really far out. That one's got two portals at the end of it, I'm pretty certain. This one might just have one. Let's go this way. Why to the witch hut? Well, with witch huts, uh, they have a very special property in which they only spawn witches within that little like barrier, within the boundaries of the, the witch hut itself. And you can use that to make a witch farm. Why would you make a witch farm, you ask? Well, with the witch hut, as long as you make sure everything around it is pretty much spawn proof, witches spawn very quick and you can make them fall and die and they drop gunpowder, among other things. They drop sticks. I think they drop glowstone. Wait, no, not glowstone. What am I talking about? I think they drop spider eyes sometimes. It's weird. Aha! Perfect. I really don't like how this is open though. Four months. So we didn't really fully explore this. Um, I feel like it deserves a full exploration whilst we're here. Just had to donate to my favorite streamer again. Just can't tell you how much you mean to me. Pog, 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 pog. pog. <clears throat> oh, thank you for the 10, man. I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm glad I can help. Oh my God, so many fish. I'm glad I can help people. Even if it's just making them laugh, keeping them entertained. Oh, we can skip that. We can totally skip that. Look. Oh God, that sounded horrific. My gifted sub ended Monday and I'm back will the plebs dead, but I still love watching her stream bigger underscore pogo. Bigger underscore pogo. Bigger underscore pogo. Bigger underscore pogo. <laughs> Where is he? I can even pathfind him. Ah! Uh... I heard him pathfind him. As soon as I opened the door, he was like, I can get him and just start sprinting towards me. I knew it. Where is he? There he is. This is the guy that hit me. Phil. <laughs> Thank you. Was that, was that Phil a disappointment, Phil? Phil. I wasn't lit. <laughs> what are you doing, Phil? Get out with a stronghold, Phil. <laughs> oh no, I'm being judged. Oh my god! Excuse me? That was weird. That was four creepers. Three here, one here. So they spawned in a group of four. That was a baby zombie. A baby drowned, getting squished in a block. The timing of that. I thought I triggered it with the door opening. Jesus Christ. You man's done with the 50. My fucking heart rate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that 50, Dolan, man. Are you trying to give me a heart attack, though? <laughs> what is that timing, dude? It's the door that leads nowhere. Oh. As if. Oh, my God. No way. The reason why I missed that was because it was literally a wall. All right. I think we've cleared it. So we could fly, I think, from this location because we're not that far away. Hey, we are roughly 2,000 blocks movies? away. Which farm should be, like, right here? Ah. Here it is. Boom! <laughs> Hello, traveler. <laughs> yes, I'm going to turn you and all your ancestors into gunpowder. Thank you. Get this water. All right. Time to look for some lava, guys. <laughs> God. Keep your eyes peeled. Dude, there has to be surface lava around here. You know what's really good? I've just noticed this portal we're going to make is going to be like, it's going to have double usage. We're going to annihilate this. I want all of the ice from this place. It's actually pretty big. This one lava pool, dude. That's all I need. Doesn't even have to be that big. I am really surprised that there isn't one nearby. Ah. Oh. Hey. Oh my god, it's covered in it's covered in grass, dude. It's all scuffed. How much time we got in the night? Where the fuck is the moon? Oh, there it is. Alright, it's almost gonna be daytime in like three minutes. We'll hang around. We'll come back to that spot. I still need um flint i think yeah i don't have a flint steel in here that's the one like crucial item i'm missing from this a portal um shulker box i have iron just chilling i could use that let's break that don't care oh i have extra so you know i might as well just do that donezo and then can i get on top of this just to place these torches i want things spawn on top of my head thank you very much all right ready to go just need some flint to silk touch it is fortune Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Boom. <laughs> it's so trivial when you have a Fortune 3 shovel, dude. It's instant flint every time. It's the best. Okay, actual actual ender chest going down now, though. I'm not going to break. Okay, let's get the coordinates. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Take a screenshot. Scribble these down. We are now at 
one five seven seven minus two seven four eight and we got a fly home and we can uh, link these things up or rather let's go to the water strongholds and take that portal back to save us on elytra and, uh, done okay so how about it's not fall in by accident Let's break it. This is fine. Hey, thank you for the entertainment, you rock man. I have seen every stream from end of May till now from beginning to end. Are you proud, dad? Also, word on the street is that stream mom has two big pox. Wow. <laughs> Dude, the amount of times I people say we should get a dog called Pog, Jesus Christ. It just made me think of like us having two dogs called Pog there, Pog and Pog Champ. But I would just, I would hate saying Pog because I would be telling like, my, I, when you get a dog, you, you're usually telling it off for doing something wrong when you first get it. So it knows what's wrong. Like, fuck's sake, Pog, stop pissing on the sofa. Pog would become the opposite. Bad Pog, that's a bad Pog. Yeah, like, <laughs> you get it, right? I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> Although it would be hilarious. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could get over it. Maybe I could like separate the two in my mind. All right, guys, now we have this. We're like Batman in the back cave when he, when it, well, when he goes down into the back cave and he gets changed and oh boy, he's gonna, here we go. What are you going to do about the floating bedrock above the obsidian towers? Either turn them into stars or use like a glitch to get rid of them. Uh, you can use like a piston setup and a bunch of different like, it's it's weird. There's there's like a really specific setup you can do um, that involves like, uh, what I call it, a script. I kind of don't like that idea. I feel like it's a little bit cheaty. All the script does is it just places, I think, another piston down or a block down faster than you can physically do it yourself. It has to be like instant as soon as a piston switches. Or the second way of doing it just takes a little bit more prep work it would probably take me if i if i got it down if i if i knew how to do it quickly i could probably do it within like 10 minutes realistically for each one for each individual bedrock piece it involves creating a glitched piston which has no head like a piston a, a, it's so bizarre people use it to get on top of the bedrock roof in the nether now but i like the idea of making them at the stars honestly i kind of like that idea all right guys time to go to the nether i need to go to let me make sure it's right that is minus three, four, three, minus two, seven, four. Wow, wow, no, cool wrong. down on exclamation mark project, please. Wow, wow, wow. Minus one, nine, seven, minus one, nine, seven, three, four, three. All right. And three we go. What was it again? Minus one, nine, seven. This way. That seems wrong for some reason. Why is it? No, it's, it's plus one. Okay. Idiot. Idiot. It's not gonna work, there's no creepers in here. Ha ha, I got you. Nope. Oh wait, there isn't any creepers in nether. Fake reaction, he he pog. <laughs> that is proud, well <laughs> done son. Oh, we're almost there. All right, we have to go like 300 blocks, oh, so I'm just gonna turn that off and baby, we're gonna put that there. So I can place a block down if we see any lava. Why aren't you making a railroad in nether wow at that? Because the idea I have for the nether oh. portal system is to have it completely open plan. This is just temporary for now. And when I say open plan, think of it literally as just a giant room where I can just fly to the poles. Ah! Oh! oh, nice. Just two Endermen just chilling over there. Thank you. Thank you, game. Let's block this up nice and safe. Nice and safe. Boom. 285. 342 we need to be at. Now you're there. All right, okay. Let me just triple check. 197 minus 343. Three. Yep. Perfect. Boom. We're all linked up and there's a witch just chilling there still. Yes. All right, let's get a good look at the place around us. Okay, so I want rid of those trees and this land here. Also this. 
Let's get rid of that. Let's clear this up a little bit. Uh, what does it matter? Actually, there's nothing really super close to it. It's a really good spot. One thing we could do um, is bull meal a ton of sea pickles, like a metric ton, and just sea pickle the entire floor so that zero drowned can spawn. Since it's so shallow, they will still try and spawn in the deeper bits here, but not in the bits where there's only like two blocks. It's like they'll try and spawn down here um, or possibly this section here. But as long as the area around it is fine, it should be okay. I hear a cat in there. Oh my god. Is that a new thing to cats? But oh my god, there's a cat right there. There's a black cat. Oh, he's so cute. Pog. Oh, it's original Pog. We gotta get the cat. We gotta get the cat. Which one was he? Can we just check? It was original Pog. There's champ. Got him. Got him, guys. He's not gonna despawn. We have Pog. He is safe. Oh my god, the witch just bailed. I'll come get you, Pog. I know, right? It's exciting. I killed your, your captor. Give me a second, I'm gonna fish you some food. <laughs> oh, you're a greedy boy. Yeah! Pog! We got him. He has returned. The king has returned. <laughs> You need to come with me, son. Let's just leave this place. Is he going to join us or is he still stuck in the pot? He fully is stuck in the pot, dude. That's not hit him by accident. Hey, man. You come with? You come, you're coming home? You're coming home? Do you want to see the other Pog? The one that's an imitator. <laughs> Pog, come back. Okay, actually, should we, should, we, should we keep Pog here or take him with us home? Take him home. Should we straw pull this? Let's straw pull it. I think, it's, I think we're taking him home, guys. Pog's fate has been sealed. We'll give it like a minute. Stay on. Success. All right, Pog. I need you to do something very important now, okay? I need you to not get stuck in Netherrack. I need you to not suffocate to a random block or die in lava because you just decided to yeet yourself into it. You do that? All right. He nodded his head, guys. He's coming home. He's coming home. He's coming. Pog is coming home. <laughs> Go through. Hey. Welcome home, Pog. Yeah! Welcome home, old friend. Pog is back. So now we need to call the other cat, hey, Champ. Phil. All right, let's put you there. We need to fix the cat law. And all was right with the world. Now we have Champ chilling over here, looking after the turtles. Got Todd watching his brethren die. We have Pog. He's back. He's back. Next order of business. Oh, I want to create a portal to the maybe. Coral Temple. So, should we fly there? It is 6,000 blocks away. Uh, Elytra will be okay. Fireworks, if we can serve them, we should be fine also. I need to go to 1,283, which is this way. Ah, here it is. Here it is, boys. This is going to be another location for a future project. I kind of want this to be sent. I, went to the I know it doesn't matter, get eight but... Cans of Sprite. I got home and realized I'd picked seven up. Okay, let's get the coordinates for this down. That nerf my account, thank you. Shit, we need to get home. Okay, I'm swapping that out just to be sure. I have the coordinates for this portal now. Um, We're going to go home, make a tunnel, link them up. This will be the location of maybe the second or third build that we do. I think it's about time we check out that iron farm. I still need to go set up the coral temple portal. That's it. I have the coordinates, so we can do that right now. Got my obsidian. We're pretty much ready to go. I feel like we should have a crafting table at the iron farm to condense down all of that iron that we're going to get rather than taking it all the way back to our home and then do it because we have been in the overworld for quite some time so this thing was running constantly holy shit <laughs> oh my god wow two stacks of blocks <laughs> busted absolutely busted it's too big to f oh my okay there we go all right <laughs> I need a dedicated iron chest now. I say this like every stream. The amount of iron we're getting is ridiculous. Okay, let's set up this portal, shall we? Uh, I have the coordinates ready. I just need to type it into the nether portal calculator. 141 minus 756. Let's do this. We still need to go even further. We need to go to minus 756. It's a bit of a, bit of a trip, guys. 
All right, let's just double check these coordinates are correct. 141 on the x-axis. My 756, close enough. Cool. All right, let's head back home. Got my portal set up. Got Pog. A lot happened today. This might be a long stream highlight when I get to it. Linked up a bunch of portals. We linked up uh, three separate nether portals to three different locations. One to a witch hut, one to a water stronghold, and one to the... Wait, not to a water stronghold, sorry. We went to the water stronghold, and then we explored it, and then we linked up a portal to the coral temple. Ah, yes, dude. I know, so much for the squid farm, right? Well, I wanted to find the location for it, and I think I found a good one. We could do it here. Right? Right here. Or right here. Uh, problem is though, it needs to be like a decent size. Ultimately though, if we do it within the, uh, the biome border, essentially, we could stick it up in the sky. So I might end up doing that idea instead. I might make it at the same level as the iron farm just for kicks. Just so it's like kind of even, I guess. But we need that for Atlantis. We need more glass or more black glass, I should say. Need the black dye for more black glass. The walls are going to be made of glass. We changed our minds again. <laughs> Or more specifically, I changed my mind. Kristen had a hand in it though. I was going to use just sandstone and endstone. And then glass would have looked way cooler from outside. So we went for that instead. Appreciate everyone, guys. Thank you all so much for subbing and all the donos and biddies. Great stream. Yeah, I'll see you all um, Friday for another stream. Maybe we'll do the ink farm then. Thank you, everybody. I'll catch you all later, okay? I'll see you Friday. Bye.